kids church in the arms of Jesus kids church walking with the Lord kids church learning learn all about Jesus a kids church kids church kids church in the arms of Jesus kids church walking with the Lord kids church growing closer to Jesus a kids church Kids Church Kids Church Hi kids. Wow, today's lesson is really just up your alley. It's all about you. It's Jesus talking about uh, um, about children. And, you know, Jesus really seems to uh, have just the biggest, warmest spot in his heart for, for little children. And, and he welcomed children when other people wanted to chase them away because, well, they're just kids. He loved the children in so many different ways. And he even said something pretty amazing. He said to all of us grown-ups, big people like me, if you don't become like a child, you can't come into my kingdom. Whoa. Well, Miss Kathy's going to try to explain that to you and help you to understand what he means. But, uh, but what a wonderful thought that uh, each of us, even when we're grown-ups, we have something to learn from, from you kids, from little ones. That's what Jesus tells us, and that's a great, great thing for all of us to remember. And it's something not for you to get a big head about, but for you to think about too. So let's listen to the Bible reading. We'll have some music, and then listen to Miss Kathy talk to you about that Bible passage. Love being with you. See you again next week. God bless you. Bye-bye. Historian. A reading from the book of Mark. People brought their small children to Jesus so that he could lay his hands on them to bless them. But the followers told the people to stop bringing their children to him. Jesus saw what happened. He did not like his followers telling the children not to come. So he said to them, let the children come to me. Don't stop them because God's kingdom belongs to people who are like these little children. The truth is, you must accept God's kingdom like a little child accepts things, or you will never enter it. Then Jesus held the children in his arms. He laid his hands on them and blessed them. This is the word of the Lord. And now music. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Every color, shape, and size, they are precious in His eyes. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Every color, shape, and size, they are precious in His eyes. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Every color, shape, and size, they are precious in His eyes. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Here's the lesson. Hi, kids. Good to have you here today. Have you ever been really excited to do something and been told you can't? Maybe you went to a park, and when you got to the best ride in the park, you find out you have to be this tall to ride. How did that make you feel? I bet you were really disappointed. In today's Bible story, Jesus has come to a town and everyone was so excited. There were lots of people crowding around him. They had heard how wonderful Jesus is. He made the deaf to hear, the blind to see, and the lame to walk. They wanted Jesus to help them, and they wanted to hear the stories he told. There were some mothers with children that wanted to see Jesus too. I know most moms have a hard time getting the kids together to go somewhere. 
I imagine these moms trying to get the kids' faces washed and then heading off to see Jesus. They didn't have cars, so they would have to walk. They might have some little ones who walk really slow, and then they're calling to the older ones, come back, don't run ahead. By the time they got to where Jesus was, the place was really packed. They couldn't see over the heads of the people in front of them. How would they get to see Jesus? The moms thought they better ask some of Jesus' disciples to help them get closer to Jesus. But instead of helping them, the disciples told them to take the children home. Jesus is too busy to bother with kids. Take them home. Can you imagine how the kids and their moms must have felt? They must have been so sad. But Jesus saw what the disciples did. He told them not to send the children away, but rather let them come to him. Jesus told the men that they have to accept God's kingdom like a child, or they would never enter it. The children were so happy, they ran to Jesus, and he gathered them into his arms, and he blessed them. What does Jesus mean when he says we have to be like a child? How can I shrink back down to a kid's size? Do I need to go back to school and play paddle ball or play with dolls? What was Jesus talking about? The older we get, we start to think that we know what's best for us. We might make decisions that make our family's lives easy, like skipping church on Sunday so we can spend an extra hour at the beach, or pushing in front of someone else in line so we can get a better seat at the movies. These decisions might make us happy at the moment, but are these the kind of things God wants us to do? I don't think so. Little children know that they need someone to love them and take care of them. They trust that mom and dad will make sure they have the things they need. They listen to their parents because they love them and want to do what's right. Children sometimes do things wrong, but they know they're still loved and forgiven. This is how God wants all of us to be. He wants us to love him and trust in him for everything. He wants us to listen to him and follow what he tells us to do. When we do something wrong, he wants us to say we are sorry and believe that he will forgive us. God wants us to know that he will always love us and care for us. We don't need to have a child's body to enter heaven. We need to have a heart like a child, one that loves and trusts our Heavenly Father. Jesus loves all the children in the world, and he loves you too. How do we know that? Because he tells us so. Let's fold our hands and bow our heads to pray. Dear Heavenly Father, help us always to have a heart like a child. Help us to follow your word and trust that you know what is best for us. Thank you for loving us and caring for us. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a good week. More music. So love the world that he gave his one and only son God. So love the world that he gave his one and only son. That whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. That whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son 
whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. That whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, God, so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son. That whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. That whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. No lie. And now, where's the Where's Pierre now? Can anybody tell me where's Pierre? That's right. We find Pierre seated on the acolyte's bench. Kids church in the arms of Jesus. Kids church walking with the Lord. Kids church learning learn more about Jesus. Jesus. A kids church. Kids church. Kids Church in the arms of Jesus. Kids Church walking with the Lord. Kids Church growing closer to Jesus. Kids Church. Kids Church. Kids Church.